hey scientists okay let's talk about how to take a in-person model such as this paper one here and digitize it okay a lot of times what people try to do is they do one of th two things to start one they try to either hold up the paper model right and now you see my hand and the room it's kind of hard to see the model right the other thing they like to do is do this and come over the model like this but then you run the risk of like you know things in the background getting in the way um, you know, I'm using my phone for this one, so the camera quality is pretty good. Your Chromebooks, they tend to be a little dark, hard to see. So my recommendation is this. Use the floor. Now, find a spot on the floor that isn't full of graphics, right? In fact, there's even a line there. Let's use this part of the floor. There we go, right? I don't wanna use the grid pattern in the back. I don't want to use a place where my chair can be seen. I want just a nice shot of the floor. And now I can zoom in. And now see how that background is completely faded away and I get a really good image of my actual model. Now, let's say I take this picture and it's still too hard to read the information. I have a couple options. One, I should go over all the labels in a darker pen, right? Making them stand out a little bit more. Two, I can change the contrast on the picture itself, right? I can crop, I can do all kinds of different things. Um, you know, let's say I got my foot in the corner here, right? After I take the picture and I notice my foot's there, I could crop my toes out and it would be just fine. So again, the key to good photography is really looking at the background and getting the image nice and in focus and into the center and everything you want it to be. So make sure, in science especially, use the floor. Thanks, scientists. Hey, scientists. Okay, let's talk about what to do once you have a picture of your in-person model, but, <laughs> but don't have it uh, fully digitized yet. Okay, so I'm going to use slides just because it's kind of an easier format. But you can do all kinds of things with docs as well. Um, you just have to look a little bit differently for the different things. All right. So first I need to get the picture on here. So I'm going to go insert. I'm going to go image. I'm going to upload it from my computer. And there we go. And the next thing I'm going to do is decide how I want to crop it. So um, you have all these like different image toolbars up here, right? You can animate um, for the slides actually. But wait, there we go. Replace the image. I can format the image. There we go. There's the format menu. Um, the first thing I want to do is do a little cropping. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit here. Oops, wrong bar, Budro. Bring it down a little here. There we go. And then I'd like to move it to the center. And I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. Now, this is pencil and paper. And it's kind of hard to read, right? Going over things in marker makes it stand out a little bit more, but we can adjust it in here as well. So I think the best thing to do with a model is to kind of adjust the brightness. See instantly a little bit, whoa. Now you get too bright and you do that. We don't want that, right? Scale it back, still too bright, still too bright. Too dark. There. I don't want it to look fake, but I'm happy with that. The other thing I like to do is to change the contrast. So low contrast would look like this, right? Where everything kind of looks gray. High contrast is gonna be a little more black and white. See how the white is getting a little brighter? Okay, you can just mess around with these a little bit until again, you don't want it to look fakey fake. But oh, right there, ah, that's a sweet spot. Um, you also could recolor things, right? You could put them in a black and white completely. Ooh, I don't like that one, but you get the idea. Um, if you really want, hmm, hmm, I kind of like that. 
Um, but you can digitally edit these things, right? Meh. Let's go back to that green. We're going to leave it green. So I use the adjustments tab here, right? And I use the recolor tab here. And there's other things you can do, right? If it's rotated the wrong way, you can flip it around. Um, you can actually flip it back to front, mirror image it. You can change it by a certain angle. Um, you can crop it here. You can do a drop shadow, which basically just puts a little shadow on the box, make the box 3D. You can change the color of the background to make it stand out. You know, things like this. Adjust the drop shadow, right? Blur radius. Up that a little bit. And, ooh. I like that. All right. And now you have a model that looks way different from what we started with, right? Um, but it also makes it more clear and more easy to read. So, Lots of different options under format for pictures there. Again, same thing in docs, just in a slightly different way. But I strongly recommend um, making sure you take a really good quality picture and then, you know, changing things if you need to, to make it even better than what it already was. Thanks, scientists.